Present Simple Tense Grammar Presentation The simple present is a verb tense and it's also called present simple or present indefinite. So when do we use simple present? When to use simple present? One of the answers would be we use simple present for repetitions and habits. Use the simple present to express the idea that an action is repeated or usual. The action can be a habit, a hobby, a daily event, a scheduled event, or something that often happens. But it can also be something a person often forgets or usually does not do. Here are some examples of using present simple tense to express repetition and habits. I play tennis. She does not play tennis. Does he play tennis? The train leaves every morning at 8 a.m. The train does not leave at 9 a.m. When does the train usually leave? She always forgets her purse. He never forgets his wallet. Every 12 months, the earth circles the sun. Does the sun circle the earth? When to use simple present, another one is facts or generalizations. So the simple present can also indicate the speaker believes that a fact was true before, is true now, and will be true in the future. It is not important if the speaker is correct about the fact. It is also used to make generalizations about people or things. Here are some examples of using present simple tense to express universal facts or generalizations. Is California in America? California is in America. California is not in the United Kingdom. Are cooking pots made of wood? Cooking pots are not made of wood. We also use simple present for scheduled events in the near future. Speakers occasionally use simple present to talk about scheduled events in the near future. This is most commonly done when talking about public transportation, but it can be used with other scheduled events as well. Here are some examples of scheduled events in the near future using present simple tense. The train leaves tonight at 6 p.m. The bus does not arrive at 11 a.m. It arrives at 11 p.m. When do we board the plane? The party starts at 8 o'clock. When does class begin tomorrow? We also use simple present for short actions now. The speaker sometimes uses the simple present to express the idea that an action is happening or is not happening now. And these can only be done with non-continuous verbs and certain mixed verbs. Here are some examples of using present simple tense to express short actions now. He hits the ball hard. I am here now. She is not here now. He needs help right now. He does not need help now. He has
has his passport in his hand. Do you have your passport with you? And we also use the simple present for permanent situation. The simple present tense is often used to describe permanent situations or facts. These are things that are unchanging, constant, and enduring. So, some examples of using present simple tense to express permanent situations. I live in London. She works in a restaurant. The simple present is just the base form of the verb. If the verb is speak, the base form or the simple form of this verb is just speak. Questions are made with do or does, and negative forms are made with do not or does not. Of course, when we use I and you, and plural subjects, we use do. But if the subject is singular, we use does. So we have here an example in the statement, you speak English. He speaks English. In the question form, do you speak English? Does he speak English? And in the negative form, we have you do not speak English. She does not speak English. So in the third person singular, S or ES is added on the verb or on the base form of the verb. So with speak, it becomes speaks. Questions are made with does and negative forms are made with does not again in a third person singular. So he speaks English, does he speak English, he does not speak English. How do we form present simple positive? So again, always remember third person singular, we add S, E, S, or sometimes I, E, S. If the verb ends with Y, we change it with I, and then we add E, S. So here we have the verb swim. So in the present simple positive, when we have I, you, and the plural form of the subject like we and they, we only use the simple or the base form of the verb, swim. I swim, you swim, we swim, they swim. And for the third person singular, we add S on the verb. So it becomes he swims, she swims, it swims. For the present simple negative, we use do not or does not. Okay, again, for the third person singular, we use does not or doesn't. And for I, for the pronouns I, you, and plural form pronouns we, they, and uh, plural nouns, we use don't or do not. So examples here, we have I don't eat meat, you don't eat meat, we don't eat meat, they don't eat meat. And for the third person singular, he doesn't eat meat, she doesn't eat meat, it doesn't eat meat. Okay. Always remember that when we use does and do, doesn't or don't, does not or do not, the verb will always be in its single form. For example, the subject in the sentence is singular, third person singular. For example, Carl. So in a present simple positive statement, we can say Carl eats meat. But when we use does or does not, even if the subject is third person singular, when we use do, does, don't, or doesn't, 
the verb will should always be in its simple form. So you say Carl does eat meat or Carl doesn't eat meat. So it's it's wrong when you say he does eats meat or he doesn't eats meat. So that's wrong. When again, please remember always that when you use do or does, don't or doesn't, which is similar in the simple past, did or did not. When you have do, does, and did, always use the base form and the simple form of the verb. So, when we form the present simple question, it, these are some of the examples. Again, the third person singular subject, take does. Okay. Do I sleep? Do you sleep? Do we sleep? Do they sleep? Does he sleep? Does she sleep? Does it sleep? Again, we don't say does she sleep? No. Because you have does already, the verb should be on its base form or simple form. Does she sleep? This is also how we form our short answers. Positive short answers. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Or, yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, it does. And of course, for the negative short answers, no, I don't. No, you don't. No, we don't. No, they don't. Or, no, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next video which is about present simple quiz or test. And then moving on to the other verb tenses and other grammar lessons for review. Stay tuned. God bless.